<clears throat> Hello ladies, I hope you're doing good today. I've been working my big behind off yesterday in the idea that it was supposed to rain starting yesterday afternoon all the way till Thursday. Then guess what? This morning isn't raining. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed about that. Um, hi everybody. Hi, Lydia. I hope I'm not mistaken. Ilyanka, thank you for getting here, Elaine. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Carlene. So, I said we we're going to do the rest of the uh, tea set today. And uh, I, did, I didn't do six. I only did four of the little uh, cups. But... Uh, what I was talking to you about was about making the set functional, right? So we are going to make a teapot. And I did start because this is the, the whole set. So they look like this. As I was telling you the other uh, uh, Sunday that you only need to put a little pill-like thing at the bottom and you don't mind the uh, little saucers being shiny from that uh, glass bead because in the end they kind of need to be shiny and of course you can it's the same thing for the inside of the cup but they are fully functional and I can tell you something if you bake them for at least half an hour ideally is 45 minutes but uh, I dropped one when I was sanding because you need to come and sand the, the very end so they would be perfectly nice and even. I dropped one when I was sanding and I dropped it on the kitchen tile. And I can tell you that the, the lid handle didn't break. So we are good. Now to finish them, all you need to do is to get some... Uh, wax hi Lynn hi Sonia I said hi Sharon uh, some wax or you can use acrylic paint and then go I'm using the aged brass from uh, Art Alchemy in the metallic line and all you need to do is and I'm going to let them sit for a while and then I'm going to buff them with a cloth, obviously. Just go on the very edge. Yes, they are tiny, but to be honest, I made even tinier ones in my life. I made some that were kind of like pea size, tiny. I used glass beads for that, not marbles. But yeah, as I was saying, you can find marbles on my Amazon influencer store. I think it's in the baking blanks and I have several sizes there. And uh, another thing you can use is if you have any kind of uh, gemstone spheres you can use those as well because the gemstones are pretty hardy at the temperature you need for polymer clay they will not crack I've used mine many times and I mostly use my uh, pink quartz I have a pink quartz and uh, for smaller stuff, I have some, uh, uh, oh, what are those? I have some spider jasper, spider web jasper. The uh, tiger's eye. And for larger stuff I have an obsidian sphere okay so now I'm going to put these aside 
and then hi Francis and then of course I'm going to clean my finger and once again I apologize to people who are newer if you see I apologize if you have you see me mostly using my middle finger to do this I'm not doing that to flip you the bird it's that I have uh, nerve damage in my index finger and I don't feel very well with it the nerve damage is right at the fingertip so for things like using paint and stuff I use my middle finger so don't feel upset now as I was telling you the um, in order to do the rest if you want to make them functional of course you can make them non-functional and they'll be just blobs but if you want to make the whole thing functional you use toilet paper and you use the toilet paper to kind of already build the shapes and uh, let it dry for a while don't use it right away once you shape it it needs to be wet and it needs to be very very thoroughly squeezed and then you can pretty much shape it like you would a pap papier mache so let's go ahead and do what am i going to do i'm going to do the creamer first so if I place this here I would have pretty much one thing here and one thing here if I place them so I'm just making little annotations here and I'm making those because remember that I need to place the that little flower thingy so I'm going to place it right where I have my markings so remember these are this is a uh, for you to get an idea on how to do this of course you can uh, uh, you can work more you can work more and you can do different more complicated patterns and canes for all this so I'm burnishing the cane into the white and make sure it looks good going to cut a bit not going to work with all of it and you notice how I shaped the the whole thing already kind of gave it the shape of Seamus Seamus is in the business of wailing around the house today. I have no idea why. I think he's feeling unloved. <coughs> so, I'm going to place it. So, this would be my bottom. And I'm trying to keep the, the direction I gave it. and make sure that my little flowers come pretty much in the middle so I can now start coaxing the clay and I've shown you many times how you can shape the clay to fit a certain shape but you need to be a little bit 
patient. Don't try to force it all at a, at once to do that because it's going to not be very happy about it and to make things a little bit easier I'm going to already cut some of the excess oh wow South Africa hi Tuni. I don't think I've had anyone from South Africa before on a live Gently, gently, gently coax it into place. And it's going to get there a little bit at a time. My uh, paper is still a little bit wet, so Okay, now it doesn't look like much at this very moment, but we will make it look nice. So I'm going to start gently round it up here. get rid of all marks of folding and stuff like that actually i think i'm going to trim this and just feather it Now I made this a little bit uh, bigger than I would otherwise make them because it would be compared to the size of the cups obviously and then gently trim the excess and I, as I said last time you want to do the um, all toilet paper thing if you want to have a functional mini tea set because afterwards you can simply after they are baked you simply dunk the whole thing in a bowl of water let it sit for like at least 10 minutes ideally half an hour and then you can start pulling out the uh, toilet paper that's going to uh, start dissolving practically and remember all the little imperfections that you get at the edge they can be sanded so no worries about that just make sure that you have no issues on the sides I'm going to cut straight like this 
and uh, I'm going to put the handle now but I normally don't put the handle in the first place I wait until it's baked and I can uh, I can nicely sand off any tiny imperfections and then we create the little spout and you can use practically anything to do this I'm going to use a toothpick what is this where did this come from I'm working again on all kinds of stuff especially making a lot of beads And yesterday I didn't really have time to do much. So create a nice spout here. And look from the side if you see. Of course you can sand this but I'd rather have it level because you want this to be fairly leveled and then bring it down a little bit and we have the little creamer and of course we need to make it a handle make sure that you press a little so you'd get a good you can put a different um, an, an extra piece down there to make it more stable and uh, your creamer should be about once and a half the size of your uh, little a little uh, cups where's my acrylic block i lost my acrylic block oh there it is under the scissors so it's a little bit thicker than the one for the cups and one diagonal and the other diagonal has to be in the same direction so you place it with the diagonal down and make sure that it is well placed on the very edge here and then bring it over and this would be a little the little creamer now for the sugar hi Teta I am good I'm still a little tired from Today. <clears throat> but uh, overall not bad okay so now with the sugar thing okay, I'm going to place this here and make me some points so this is going to be about here and the other one about here so I'm kind of eyeballing how it's going to be from the middle up and then I'm going to place another sign for the uh, symmetry line and again cutting two of these I actually made an even smaller one and I'm going to use it actually put together these take 
this was a bad cut. I put together these and I uh, made a new cane with even tinier. I'm gonna put one on each side of the bigger one. <clears throat> I'll zoom in so you can see better. Now, when you're making uh, several sets, remember how I did the the uh, cups you can go ahead and start with a cane a round cane that would already have the flowers or whatever you decide to put as a model on your little cups and that would make things a little bit better. Okay. I have a little bit more to insist here. And once again, I'm going to remove some of the extra. I guess yes I'm going to need more white but yeah yesterday after I because what I had to do for people who don't follow me on Facebook I mean my personal profile uh, in the suburb city where I live we have four times of a year every trimester a bulk pickup for trash and in this bulk pickup can be garden debris or you know furniture or stuff like that but the idea is uh, for the whole thing to be about the size of a couch and they come and they pick it up and our next bulk pickup is tomorrow now normally uh, you're allowed to start putting stuff to the curb only 24 hours prior to the pickup time but because we were supposed to start to get rain starting yesterday afternoon all the way till thursday evening Uh, so I didn't want to go in the rain and they do make amends for um, cases of bad weather and as I didn't want to go through the rain doing all that because I started cleaning my uh, backyard and as I kind of neglected it last year a lot of saplings and a lot of branches because my backyard is pretty much surrounded from three sides of fairly big trees and as we had some winds especially when was that thursday i think thursday evening we had a tornado very close to me it did not uh, affect me personally but we did have some pretty nasty winds hi Darla oh you never say no to massages huh that is a sin to say no to a massage 
So there were a lot of branches that had fallen from the trees. So I had to do a lot of cutting of little branchlets so that I can get everything, you know, neatly stacked. Because if you don't stack it the way they tell you, they just don't pick it up. <laughs> so, overall, I by the time I, I finished that, okay, I made a mess here. I might have to restart. I made a mess. Um, by the time I finished all that, I was so tired that I initially... I don't I need more white. I initially came in the house to just, because my back was killing me, just to lay down for 10 minutes. I think it was around 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that. And I woke up two hours later. You know that stage where you wake up and you're like, who the heck am I and where am I? Where am I? That thing where you... You cannot get your bearings. So, I was able to go back outside and do a few more things, but not much. And then, of course, last night I heard too bad. <laughs> Sleep properly. I woke up like a little bit after one o'clock. But... At around 3, I went on the couch. I stopped trying to sleep in the bed. I went on the couch and made myself like a nest with cushions. And I was able to fall back asleep till 6.30. So I woke up fairly rested. I have big... Uh, sleeping issues. My problem is not falling asleep. My problem is staying asleep. So I think I'm going to try and uh, get some a slow release melatonin because maybe that would help me stay asleep. You know. go back to it. Hold on, I wanted to check on something. And yes, I did not forget because uh, I got a few people asking me about that whole bouquet thing for um, uh, the spring cane. And uh, I will get back to it, but I want first to finish the um, doing my stuff in the garden because if I'm getting uh, my hands to hurt again I'm at a point in catching up on all the stuff I couldn't do because of thyroid fatigue and arthritis in my hands pain that I cannot really afford to be out of commission for more than a day if I want to ca ever catch up. And um, once I am kind of done, so it should be towards June, I'm going to get back to that. In the meantime, I have all the elements nicely uh, wrapped. Okay, I was looking for something. Yeah, because I want to. Okay, so it wasn't. I was. I wanted to see if um, something that I did was in a uh, 
in the sponsors only or if it was in the public area. Oh yeah, and that was another thing that was yesterday. I mean, we had for the previous week, it was nice and warm and sunny, well, except for the day we had the storms. So uh, Friday, we had 70 degrees and not full sun, you know, that little amount of fluffy white clouds in the sky they just make everything beautiful and it was barely any breeze so we went from that to yesterday a max of 55 degrees with like 20 something miles per hour winds with gusts over 30 so on top of it and it was overcast so on top of everything it was cold at one point I had to because I had to remember I told you to clip clip all the time hi Colleen to clip the extra twigs and stuff this is my uh, to clip the extra twigs and stuff so at one point I actually had to put on my gloves so yeah I have all kinds of stuff still on my because I as I got busy yesterday all day long just with the garden I didn't work a lot on uh, clay and I started again this morning so do this do that do the other one and I didn't manage to put aside all my stuff so right now I'm working in an area that's smaller than it should be and I'm easily losing stuff. Okay, now I can start again. I'm starting to make it way too big. So let's go again. I start from opposite sides. And then get the ones in between. Just careful, don't make them get stuck anywhere and then you can start from the middle going down very very gently now the whole thing is that uh, you cannot put stuff on a spherical thing you cannot put polymer clay on a spherical thing and then be able to take that thing back out so that's why we have to work with the oh you know what i i i need um darla i need uh no look how i'm jumping from one subject to the other um i always need white noise because otherwise i'm a very light sleeper and the slightest noise is going to wake me up if I don't use any kind of white noise. And you can imagine with three cats in the house, random noises will happen because I do not keep my bedroom door closed. especially because I could bring water in the bedroom for them but my main thing is that you know the thing uh, you should have as many litter boxes 
as you have cats, plus one. Well, I don't have plus one, but I have three litter boxes, and obviously they are not all in the same room. There is one in the bedroom, but uh, I wouldn't want them to all three poop in that litter box throughout the night, if you get my drift. And especially because their most favorite one is one that's in the laundry room, so it's in the farthest reach of the house. So with three cats during the night, there's a lot of unusual noises in the house. So I use white noise. And I discovered one of my most uh, efficient things there's a and it puts me to sleep within five minutes even if I have issues falling asleep but I don't um, on Amazon Prime if you go on Prime Video and you look uh, you use the find the search function look for a video that's called and I know it's not correct, the title, but this is the title. It's called Bejeweled Fishes. And number one, it's gorgeous music, you know, sleepy time music. And it's doubled with by the all those beautiful tropical fish and sea anemone and other stuff just moving in the water and it you go just <coughs> you know it's not long I think it's less than an hour but it's just so gorgeous and so pretty that it's going if you have issues sleeping it's going to put you to sleep in a heartbeat okay so make sure that you put them do the joint really good here and then you can feather it out and then come with on top of it with the a ruler, a ruler, roller, not ruler, roller. Okay. And feather away whatever you think is going to need feathering to get a good. And then you want to go a little bit inside, just a little bit, not much. Because you know how the sugar thing is a little closed in, is not open to avoid spillage. So again, I would make these smaller. The, the sugar thing should be the same as the creamer, both about once and a half the size of the cups. So now I'm doing the whole, gathering the stuff together here. But this time I'm going to do something to help with, and uh, you're gonna put it together if you wonder how, uh... yeah, I know. I had the same thing with uh, Teresa, 
Pandora Salgado. So one thing that you can do on this one is to create a um, a bottom and you can look at one of my because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for this during this live but you can uh, check on one of my how to make a box videos uh, to see how to actually conclude a adding a bottom to something that has an open edge now what i'm going to do is to just place this to make sure that my two little flowers on the sides are even and then place my cutter and when i'm going to press here it's going to impress on the bottom as well so I'm going to remove this and i'm having so much so many issues because my toilet paper is not dry okay once your baking blank is dry it's going to be sturdy but mine is still wet so it's squishy I did the mistake of not making these yesterday so now I'm paying for that but again this all can be sanded okay so you get something like this and then you already have the the thing on the bottom and you can get a bigger uh, a smaller than this thing it, it it's either a nitty bitty doodle doodler from poly clay play or if you have a camper cutter so that you'll have more flatness yeah if you go to Teresa uh, Salgado slash Pandora okay I didn't put it right in the middle I think I'm gonna make an extra one to show next time um, especially if you go in her older videos you get more all right now we are going to have to and again I do first bake and then do whatever sanding I have to do and then place the handles but because we kind of want to have a uh, let's see how it's going to look like kind of stuff I'm going to place the handles now and again they are going to be a little bit wider uh, now some some I know that not all of them some craft stores do have and including at Dollar, Gen, uh, Dollar Tree I saw one time um, do did start having uh, carrying uh, paper shapes and a couple times I've even seen little spheres. Now, depending on how big those little spheres are, you can use them for this. Alrighty, so it would be about this long. So once again, so you see diagonal like this. 
and the other diagonal is also in the same direction. And it's cut like this. So the cut like this goes here. And then gently fold it and smooth it out. And we got one. So it would be something like this. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to redo, remake this so uh, they would look better. And I think I'm going to do a very short uh, video on how to make the teapot because I'm starting to hurt. I mean, I worked a lot yesterday. But before I go, so this would be the, the sugar thing. And remember, you need to make it much smaller, about once and a half. This is about twice as big as the in diameter, but should be about this wide and about this tall. So before I do anything else, let me go ahead and shine up. Buff a little bit so it would look better. And I will make a very short video on how to make the teapot. That's more complicated and honestly I don't think I can make it on a wet thing. So we simply buff this to make it nice and shiny. And I'm going to refocus so you can see this one I didn't really do a very good job in waxing. I'm going to do a refocus so you can see this better in close up. Hold on. And give me just a minute. there's a little bit of mess up but as I said considering how I worked it this is pretty much how it would look now remember when I'm doing stuff on here it's not going to be as good as when I am doing it not on live because when I'm doing it not on live I can take breaks here I have to stand but you can see the the whole shininess comes out and everything and i hope that you will try to make some because if you don't make it super tiny even if you have issues with your hands you sh you still should be able to um 
make some of them at least make the little teacups and you can make the teacups also as um, of course you just get it glued on the saucer but you can make it also as earrings and I know a lot of people like earrings of food and all kinds of other stuff but yeah and this I promise you will be functional I mean you can use it I'm going to make the teapot functional and I will show you how you can use it then you can pour for it hopefully sometime later I'll be able to make another an actual uploaded video because uh, and to see if I can still make one time I made a little Victorian roses teapot set and as I said it was smaller than this it was like uh, the teacups were about be 12 millimeters so that would make it about half an inch these are almost three quarters of an inch but the one that I made smaller were like half an inch so yeah you can use as I said you can use these and I think I'm going to have to look for them and add them uh, in my Amazon influencer store and once again please don't forget to thumbs up and don't forget to use my amazon influencer store and my affiliate link to polyclay play because this is how i can afford and give back to you okay thank you so much and i will post what's going to be next sunday and hopefully i'll be able to post sometime this week and wish me luck and no tornadoes for this coming week we're supposed to have rain supposedly thank you so much have a wonderful wonderful week ahead mm, bye